Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. So today I am going to talk about um, something that I did that was absolutely stupid. And today I just want to talk about it. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how I broke my graphics card. So the graphics card that I'm talking about is my current one, which is the GTX 1650 um, Asus graphics card which i bought last 2020 when it was on during in the middle of the pandemic so yeah this is the graphics card right here so so i'm gonna talk about it more in the video so if you're wondering a smart guy like me well, how, how the hell did i broke my graphics card now i can't say that i fully blame myself for um breaking my graphics card because the the one thing that i tried to do was to clean it and yeah, I think there was something wrong the way I cleaned it. So basically what happened was I tried to remove the cover, the fans, and the heatsink. And then I used compressed air to dust all of the, um, the fans and the, the fans and the board. So I did this last, um, so I did this last year. Uh, now I think it was, I think it was October of 2022 when I last cleaned this one. And after I clean it, it works pretty fine. But during this year, at the time of January, it started to not showing any display, and then I was absolutely um, in shock because I have no idea what, like what just happened. So for the last few weeks, my graphics card was starting to get really, really buggy, and then one day it decided to not work anymore. So the fans still work and I took it to a repair shop to fix this. I still have my 3 year warranty. So when I took it to the repair shop, they said that the chipset was already broken because of the maybe because of the thermal compound was in this one and it completely dried out. They did try to apply it with thermal paste, but it just did exactly the same and it still didn't work. So for the last few months, I have been trying to save up money to buy a new graphics card. And the graphics card that I'm going to be planning to buy is actually not a newer one, say the 1660 Super or the 20 or like the 2060 one. I'm just gonna buy a new 1650, but it's a DDR6. So the graphics card that I'm gonna plan to buy is the GTX 1650 Tough Gaming, which is the DDR6 one, because this one is actually just DDR5 one. So the DDR6. VRAM memory one is going to be like 20 to 30 percent faster than my current one and if you're asking me why I'm not planning to buy the 1660 super one or the 20 series or even the 30 series my PC is literally a a potato PC okay not necessarily but it's more of a low tier PC my motherboard and my RAM are DDR3 support supported and my CPU is and my CPU is an i3 4th gen version. So if I'm gonna put a 1660 Super right there, it's gonna bottleneck pretty hard. So I don't want that to happen. If you're wondering why I'm not gonna get the Radeon 500 series, because the supply here in my area is a bit scarce. So I am not gonna uh, take time just to find a a Radeon one even if it's second-handed I really don't want to take that risk so this graphic so this new graphics card my GTX 1651 will cost around um, 11 to 12 thousand if I remember alas buying a relatively the same um, GPU isn't really gonna affect anything in my opinion I think um, just upgrading the GPU is gonna give me um, more time to upgrade my I think I can future proof my PC around like two to three years or something and then I'm just gonna probably upgrade the CPU the motherboard and the RAM next all right guys so now I am going to buy my new graphics card Alright guys, so we finally got the graphics card And since I still have more time, I am gonna go bowling for a second Alright, but first let's play some IRL Wii Bowling
Oh my god! Yes, sir. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Alright guys, so take a look at this. I just hit a hundred, so yeah, that's that's really good. Alright, so this is the graphics card. This is a GTX 1650 or tough graphics card gaming edition all right now let's take the cover off all right so this is the graphics card and this is actually like heavier than my previous graphics card which is which is also the 1650 all right let's take off the plastic okay so now i am going to install my new graphics card into my pc all right, so let's just carefully place this. This is right over here, so I'm gonna hold the fan. All right, so my graphics card has now been installed into my computer, so uh, <laughs> if you're talking about the cable management of this one, uh, I did try to put the PCIe cable right here. This one, I use this right here for the six pin. But unfortunately, it just doesn't work because it seems that my power supply, which is the Corsair 550 watts, is, is literally just connected wires here. So I just can't like make it a cleaner, um, a cleaner, you know, management. All right, so I just turn on the power cable. And as you can see, there is a light indicator right here, the white one, which means that the power supply has been connected to the uh, GPU so the moment of truth let's turn this on all right are we gonna get any display and it is all right all right so there it is uh, GTX 1650 and there it is four gigabyte DDR6 so all right so that's that's good Alright guys, so that concludes my graphics card vlog, so I really do hope you, that you guys enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments what kind of vlogs do I do next. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next food short. Alright everyone, goodbye, and stay safe as always.